Hello everybody, hope you're keeping safe and well. Today I'm going to read you a story featuring my pet dog Daisy and it's called Daisy's Adventures in Petlandia. Here we go. So this is Daisy. Daisy lived in Shrewsbury Ness and dreamt of being a star. In her very own TV show, and chauffeur-driven car. But being cute and furry made stardom rather tough, especially as the only words she knew were woof and rough. Feeling brave, she folded up her PJs and a flannel, along with some ideas for her Daisy YouTube channel. Sneaking into Finley's room, she scrawled a doggy note, then kissed him gently on the cheek and went to get her coat. Scampering through the moonlit streets with thoughts of being wealthy, Daisy stopped beside a sign and thought, I'll take a selfie. Pulling out her eye bone, she posed and took a snap, then headed to the airport while squinting at her map. Daisy was excited because she'd never flown before, unless you count that time she slammed a laptop on her paw. And as the plane took off, she thought of a list hounds and mutts while trying to squish her nose into a teeny bag of nuts. When Daisy got to Hollywood, she set up several meets, but most of them went wrong because she tinkled on the seats. And even though she tried her best, the top dogs weren't impressed. We've seen your act before, kid, and look at how you're dressed. With failure after failure, Daisy's confidence was shrinking, but then she saw a saxophone, which kind of got her thinking. I used need to learn some new tricks to really make me shine, and then I'll make some with videos and post them all online. Okay. Meanwhile, back in Shubri Ness, Finley found a note. My dog thinks she'll be famous. Oh, what a silly goat. But suddenly he looked up and saw Daisy on the news. She'd become an online superstar with 50 million views. It seems dogs can learn new tricks, Finley thought out loud. And even though he missed his friend, he was also very proud. There was Daisy on a chat show, tootling away while teetering on a unicycle doing dog ballet. Soon the world was going wild for Daisy's jolly tunes. You could even buy a storybook and see her in cartoons. She bought a doggy mansion and a limo and a yacht. She even met the president and partied quite a lot. Other doggies lined up to shake Daisy by the paw and scripts of pet-based movies came tumbling through the door. She'd sit and count her money while lounging on her throne. But when she wasn't working, she'd often be alone. Because she felt so lonely, Daisy bought more stuff. But even though she had it all, it wasn't quite enough. She tried some doggy yoga which she thought might make her happy. And that just tied her up in knots and made her sore and snappy. Then suddenly it hit her as she chewed her oldest bone. What Daisy wanted most was to be snuggled back at home. Yes, she'd miss her fancy life, the palm trees and the chauffeur, but none of that compared to cuddling thinly on the sofa. She called off all her concerts and she gave away her things. But all flights home were fully booked, so she clung onto the wings, hanging on for dear life as the plane took to the skies. Made Daisy think of Finley, and tears welled up in 
her eyes. Soaring over shoeriness, Daisy thought I've had a hoot, but home is where the heart is, so I need to parachute. Fumbling in her suitcase, she found a sparkly gown, and then used it as she leapt off to sort of slow her down. Tumbling through the fluffy clouds was really quite a rush, but Daisy had to slow down or she'd soon be doggy mush. But then she saw a mattress dumped upon a roof, and she steered herself towards it and landed with a woof. Jumping into Finley's arms, Daisy cried with joy, and Finley squeezed a squeaker in a squeaky, squishy toy. Fame is pretty epic, but snuggling is the best, thought Daisy as she curled up to enjoy a well-earned rest. Miles away in Hollyworth, things were much the same, and countless pets survived each day to search for wealth and fame. They often spoke about that dog who played the saxophone, and how she left it all because she missed her home. But Daisy wasn't bothered that she'd given up fame the shove, because her trip had taught her that what really counts is love. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed this story of Daisy. Stay safe and I hope to see you soon.